So we're in Berlin, Germany at the Broadband World Forum 2017. I'm here with Colin Tai from ZTE. Colin, yeah. good to see you. Yeah, good, nice to meet you. Yeah. So can you tell us about some of the key different features of the future broadband network? Okay, okay. First of all, uh, the bandwidth of uh, the uh, broadband network uh, will uh, be increased uh, continuously. And uh, <coughs> as we know, uh, 100 megabit uh, for the end user uh, is popular now. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, w with the next uh, 10 years, uh, uh, 10 gigabits uh, for the end user uh, will be popular 10 years, 10 okay. years later. And uh, the Palm uh, uh, technology is the main choice of uh, the uh, broadband network. And uh, <coughs> secondly, uh, the virtualization uh, of the uh, network is the main trend. Uh, as we know, uh, SDN and NFV is the popular uh, technology. And for the access network, I think uh, for the fiber interface and uh, the uh, last kilometer ODN network is, is cannot be virtualized. Uh, but for the network function of the access equipment, it should uh, converge to the SDN and NFV solution. And as we know, uh, in Europe, uh, there is a, a fiber unbounding policy. Uh, so uh, we should uh, uh, deliver the wholesale service over the FDDH network. So uh, we need support end-to-end uh, -end network slicing. And uh, lastly, uh, as we know, uh, for the uh, next 10 years, uh, we are um, very, very uh, diverse uh, scenarios, uh, such as uh, uh, the big video, uh, AR, VR, uh, and uh, also for the uh, 5G back hall, middle hall, front hall, and uh, also for the enterprise dedicated line and industrial IoT service. So is ZT ready to respond to the challenges of the future broadband network? Uh, sure, uh, ZT is ready. We have released uh, the new uh, flagship uh, access platform, uh, we call it Titan. Uh, the Titan is focusing on the uh, three uh, cap capabilities. <coughs> First of all, uh, we can uh, support uh, cross-generation te Pong technology in the same platform, okay. uh, including G Pong, E Pong, and uh, Ten G Pong, Ten G E Pong, Ten G G Pong, and also N G Pong two at the same time at the same platform. And uh, secondly, uh, <coughs> we. Uh, realized and uh, flow-based uh, flow based slicing function in the uh, equipment so we can support the wholesale service requirement and we also uh, can support uh, the control panel and uh, the forwarding panel uh, separation. Okay. Uh, the control panel uh, upward to the SD controller and uh, also the BNG forwarding panel uh, <coughs> downward to the ORT. So uh, the uh, ORT can support uh, the SDN uh, and NFV solution fully. <coughs> and uh, uh, lastly, uh, with the WDM Pong technology, and uh, we use the cell uh, switching uh, mechanism uh, to uh, realize the, the low latency uh, China uh, in the equipment. So Titan is a, a key element of the ZT stand at this year's Broadband World Forum. Can you just give us a, a few more details about this flagship platform? Okay, uh, <coughs> Titan is the most powerful access equipment in the world. And uh, uh, we used uh, all serials uh, in-house chipset uh, in the Titan and is a fully uh, distributed architecture. And the capacity of Titan is four times uh, than the other equipment. And uh, Titan also has uh, the highest uh, line card, uh, slot card uh, bandwidth is 400G. <coughs> and the Titan also uh, world first 100G symmetric palm prototype. And uh, ZT uh, world first proposed uh, the combo palm solution. And uh, this solution is uh, for the uh, operator, uh, for the operators, uh, upgrade the network smoothly and is, is also uh, deploy, deployed uh, all the world. Titan uh, also uh, 
uh, can support uh, the access uh, function and the tra transmission function at the same time. Titan has a built-in uh, OTN uplink. So from Titan, uh, we can one hop to the data center. Uh, it's, uh, it's very useful for the uh, big video service. And uh, it also can uh, reduce uh, the power consumption and the footprint and the capex. And also, uh, the Titan uh, is fully SDN ready. Uh, it can support a dual stake. And also, it can support uh, the control pillar and uh, forwarding pillar separation. Is a uh, Titan? Uh, it can uh, also uh, support uh, the built-in CDN function. Uh, so, uh, Titan can uh, be deployed uh, in the AGDC now. Okay. Okay. Colin, well, that was great. Thank you very much for telling us about ZT's outlook on the broadband network future yeah. and about the Titan platforms. Yeah, Thanks yeah, yeah. Much. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. okay.